So the LEAP compressor is a high pressure ratio machine. Um, it, it leverages some of our large engine experience, but also brings in a lot of the new technology we've developed in recent uh, CFM technology programs that have really advanced 3D aero to the fourth generation. We've been able to improve the stall margin, um, at, which is particularly important to make this compressor really successful at small size, and we've done it without sacrificing performance. The blisk stages in the front of the machine are, are new for the LEAP compressor. What the BLISC does is it allows us to combine the, the disc and the airfoils into one part. So that has a lot of logistical benefits in, in, in that you're managing a lot fewer parts. But it also, from an aerodynamic point of view, allows the leakages that would have happened between the airfoils and the discs to be reduced. We use BLISC on the LEAP engine because it gives us weight reduction and improved compressor efficiency. Uh, this is challenging because uh, blisks are much more difficult to make than a, uh, a disc or a, uh, a rotor. Our first blisk experience was on uh, military engines. Uh, they were very uh, performance driven, so we were always pushing the envelope on how to get more performance out of an engine. So with the blisks, you have to make very thin and tall airfoils out of one-piece forgings. And we do that with a GE patented process called precision step milling. Uh, this process has a unique approach of stabilizing these thin airfoils during the machining of the blisk so that you have no vibration, uh, therefore you enable dimensional control of the airfoil and you get uh, improved surface finish that is required for a blisk. We're going to be able to implement all our new technologies and everything we've learned over the last 25-30 years. It's just exciting to be able to do it on a high volume product like the LEAP.